Here's the guide for factoring polynomials. We need to start with the common monomial factoring. Then whatever will be the result, we're going to categorize them as to whether the result is a binomial, trinomial, or multinomial. And we have specific processes under specific results. Then we end it. Let's start with this polynomial. Let's factor this given trinomial, 9x squared minus 30x plus 25. And this is considered as a quadratic trinomial because we have three terms and we have the decreasing order of powers of x, x squared, x. And then for 25, it could also be written as 25x to the power of 0 where x to the power of 0 is just 1. So whenever we factor a quadratic trinomial, we have two different steps. But there's only one uh, uh, way for us to verify it. Because if we could verify that this is a perfect square trinomial, we proceed with the factoring of a perfect square trinomial. If it's not, we look for the second method. The perfect square trinomial follows these two conditions. The first condition is that the first and the last term should be perfect square. And we also have a second condition for the second term. But let's start with the first condition. The first condition is this. The first term and the last term or the third term, should be a perfect square expression. Now, 9x squared, where 9 is a perfect square of 3, and x squared is also a perfect square of... Oh, by the way, 9 could also be a perfect square of negative 3, right? And x squared is a perfect square of x. So this is actually entirely a perfect square of 3x or negative 3x. So this is a perfect square expression. Now, for 25 is a perfect square as well of 5 and negative 5. So, it meets the criteria and we have satisfied the given condition. Okay? Now, for the second condition, looking at the second term, the second term must meet this criteria. It should be computed as twice the square root of the first term okay? and the product of the square root as well of the third term okay so let's see if this is satisfied our second term is uh, minus 30x so question mark 2 times the square root of the first term again that's 2 pardon 2 the square root of the first term is 3x don't worry about the plus minus because we have the third term later for that because the square root of the third term is 5. But whenever we consider the square root of a constant, we always place plus and minus here. Okay? But this will not be added to 2 nor 3x nor the result of both. But we are going to multiply this because these are two are just signs. So you have negative 30x is equal to a question mark. 2 times 3 is 6 times 5. So you have positive, negative, 30x. There are two possible uh, middle terms with 9x squared and 25 as the first and last term or third term respectively for the entire quadratic trinomial to be called perfect square. But since we already met one of which, so negative 30x as our middle term on our original given polynomial meets one of the two criteria, And this means with this and the uh, first condition already met earlier, this given is already a perfect square trinomial. And when we factor a perfect square trinomial, it will look like this. It should be a square of a certain binomial. That certain binomial is or has a first term, square root of 9x squared, we already have it here earlier, 3x. So square root of the first term. Square root of the last term is 5. But which 5, plus or minus? We refer to the sign of the middle term minus. So this, uh, this is now the square of a binomial expression equivalent to our quadratic trinomial, which is already, again, perfect square trinomial. Or you could write this as well to this expression. 3x minus 5 times another 3x minus 5. So there are two 3x minus 5 multiplied by each other to get the entire result. So these are now the factors of the given trinomial. The next factor we're looking for is for our next subscriber. Subscribe now! 